this video, we're going to talk about the classification of bacteria on the basis of optimum pH of growth. The pH is another environmental condition that dictates microbial growth. Now, let's know how does pH affect bacterial growth. Organisms grow best at a specific pH range based, in part on the environments they have evolved to live in. If bacteria are outside their optimal pH range, their proteins can become denatured, so the pH can impact the activities of bacteria enzymes. There is five groups of bacteria based on their optimum pH. 1. Acidophiles Acidophiles are those bacteria that grow best at acidic pH. The cytoplasm of these bacteria are acidic in nature. Some acidophiles are thermophilic in nature, which are called thermoacidophiles. In the previous video, we talked about thermoacidophiles archaea, which you can watch it if you want. Some of acidophiles' bacteria examples are Thiobacillus, Thermoplasma, and Sulfolibus. 2. Alkalophiles Those bacteria that grow best at alkaline pH. One of the alkalophiles' bacteria example is Vibrio cholerae, which its optimum pH of growth is 8.2. 3. Neutrophiles those bacteria that grow best in neutral pH. The majority of bacteria are neutrophiles, E. coli for example, while molds and yeast tend to prefer slightly acidic environments with a pH range of 4 to 6. The next two groups of bacteria are extreme alkalophiles and extreme acidophiles, which by reading their names you can understand that they can survive an extreme pH range. Many bacteria produce acids as part of their metabolism and this can lower the pH of their environment. The lactic acid bacteria is an example, a large and diverse group of gram-positive bacteria that produce lactic acid as the major end product of the fermentation of carbohydrates. The lactic acid can inhibit the growth of pathogenic and food spoilage microorganisms in food. So the lactic acid bacteria play a significant role in food fermentation, contributing to a wide variety of fermented products like cheese, yogurt, meat, fish, fruit, vegetable, and cereal. Their breakdown of various carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids contribute to the flavor, texture, and nutritional value of the fermented foods. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.